So, welcome to episode one of Apes and Engines. Uh, this one is pretty simply called Motorcycles. Uh, I'd like to welcome to the channel, the podcast, I suppose you've all met Big J before. Big J, give a wave. Thanks, Big J. <laughs> Get out of my camera. Um, also, I'd like to welcome D-Ron. D-Ron, give a wave. It's Darren, but okay. <laughs> it's D-Ron now. And also behind the camera, I'm just checking this mic, by the way. Behind the camera over here uh, is, of course, Toaster. So everyone give Toaster a wave. Can I question why she called Toaster? It's in an episode. You'll have to watch back. It's. I probably did. I just missed it. It's when I was in the shed and, and the Mexican. Yeah, class. I watched that episode. Yeah, it's where she got the name Toaster from. And how do you feel about the name Toaster? How do you feel about the name Toaster? <laughs> She's going to be the silent witness to everything now. She's actually a mute. <laughs> okay, so um, basically episode one uh, is it's pretty straightforward. It's about motorcycles. And I suppose what each of us know about motorcycles, uh, how we feel about motorcycles, and we'll see how we go from there. It's going to be a quick podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Diron, do you want to start then? Also, just to, to point out, we are sponsored by uh, Guinness here, but not really, but we are though. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, Diron, if you want to <laughs> you want to tip on. Well, they're doing it again. Bikes, yeah. What, what do you know about, about them and how you feel about them? Well, I know they have an engine and people ride them. There's two wheels on them and all that. But regarding what the, the technical side of things, not very good. Me opinionated very much so. Um, do I like bikes? No, not at all. I think they're silly. I think the people who ride them in most cases look silly. And it really drives me nuts when I'm driving along. I probably look, I've, but just for reference. Say what you really feel. I drive a... <laughs> What's that? What do I drive? A Suzuki Swift. Swift. So I know I'm not the coolest looking guy on the planet, but my <laughs> God, when I see a middle-aged man in a leather suit <laughs> on a bike, it's just, no. So, um, yeah, I, and I especially hate when they filter by me. Filtering, is that correct? Yeah, we'll get to that. Oh, they can't we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So just, oh, to, to be very aware here, okay, just because I know this is going to be divisive, divisive, divisive. Um, everyone is, 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 uh, here is, this is a debate. We're all friends here. So if anyone wants to leave uh, abusive comments, uh, I will just delete them. So if if that's how you feel, then don't bother. Because I, I just to, before we get right into it, I will delete them. I'm not interested in that on the channel. So are you going to delete my comments? No, you're allowed, of course. So Big J, uh, your turn. What do you know about bikes? How you feel about them? Also, know nothing about bikes. You have had an experience. I have bikes, had so. an experience, and it was good. In fairness, yeah. There you um, go. but like the whole getting from A to B. Like car every time, like just turn on the radio, you're relaxing, it's so much more comfortable. I don't want to get to my destination sweaty and like... You don't get sweaty though. I was sweating after that. Yeah, that's because you were terrified. I was terrified. It was your... I was sweating and my arms were so, so... Yeah, you didn't need to try to break my ribs though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you you rode on a bike together? Yeah, he rode on the back of the Magnum. You didn't watch any videos. You didn't watch any of the videos. I did watch them all, but man, there's so many of them. <laughs> There's 90 now. Well, this would be number 91, actually. You should have saved it for 100, man. What, this? Yeah. No, well, there will be a 100 episode. There should be, yeah. Things planned. I, anyway. think, I think Toaster should be in it. I think that would be a Toaster reveal for episode 100. Let us know. Do you want to see that? Cool. Okay. So, what do I know about bikes? Um, I like to think that I know a decent amount. Definitely, by no means, a lot. Uh, there's people out there who know a hell of a lot more than me. How I feel about them? Well, I think the fact that I run a YouTube channel that is solely focused on going places on bikes and servicing bikes and upgrading bikes and buying as many bikes as I can and getting a shed to put bikes in and work on bikes and, and talk about bikes and look at bikes and take pictures of bikes and, and so on and so forth. I think I've that, seen your Instagram. That should, that should be how I feel. Do you follow me on Twitter? No, I don't have Twitter. No. <laughs> See, uh, he's your sub-manager. <laughs> <laughs> he's my sub-manager. Um, but yeah, so how I feel about them is I really, 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 really like them. Um, and I know a little bit about them. So yeah, I think that's that's really that, isn't it? So the next question I have for the 2EE, obviously this one doesn't apply to me because I do. But would you ever ride one? So we'll start with Big J this time. On my own, like? On your own. See, to ride it on my own, it's going to take so much time to learn and buy a bike and like get the lessons You'd and everything. Surprised. And that like money and effort and I'm like no I can just get from A to B in my lovely comfortable car 1.6 Passat 
beautiful. <laughs> so good. I like it, okay. Yeah, I basically live in it at this stage. Yeah. And when you close the doors, they go doof. Okay, fair enough. Would you ever ride on the back one again? Yeah, I probably would, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Darren, would you ever ride one on your own first? A proper motorbike? No. I think part of the reason I don't like them is because my fear of getting on them as well. No, I just, I did that. We could get you over your fear. No. You I could. did, I did that. I was in, what? He, he was way more scared yeah. than I can ever picture you even being. I wasn't oh, scared. No, I was on. how you were. I was in um so I was in I was in Thailand and we went rented those scooters, right? And so we went up one of the mountains and or the hill, whatever it was. And this guy came along and I what do you call them? Like not the motocross bikes, what do you call those? The scrambler like dirt bikes kind of thing, yeah. Like, but, 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 but a bigger like a prop, yeah, a proper one like So super motor. Could have been, yeah. I don't know. Um but this guy like Joro. Sorry, go on. I thought you said you didn't know a lot, a lot about bikes. I, mean, I said it a little bit. No, so I don't know what type of bike it was. Because again, I know nothing about bikes. But so there's me and my ter- me and three lads, other lads with like terrible helmets, you know, like, like literally bowl, like yes, like cereal balls on our heads, <laughs> on tiny scooters, you know, going up the mountain, raining down, miserable, and terrified because the yoke didn't turn at all. And he came along, shit hot in his scrambler thingy, and he crashed in front of me, and like I don't think he. He was moving, kind of, but uh, yeah, I did. I saw that, and I just know, and I'm not gracious at all in any form of like anywhere. So I don't want to be on a bike. No, God no. Would you ever ride on the back one? Don't look good in leather. You don't have to wear leather. No. Would you come in the back of the magnet with me, like the broad big J on? Can we stay around the house and stay? <laughs> Actually, the that's first, the first time yeah. I went. Was like it was on a session, and I was saying no. To and I didn't even have a helmet on. I tell you what, to like that's a, a, I had to give him my helmet because he was terrified. Okay, now again, you again, 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 going to clarify here, not terrified. <laughs> Absolutely, definitely not you terrified. You were terrified. Just when I get a no in my head, it's like, no. Yeah, then you didn't have the no in your and head. And then I got some and like, went alcoholic went beverages into stint. me. And then I said, okay. And then we went on it. And I heard it. We're not proponents. Then I heard the here. sound that everyone's like, oh my God, you have to hear the sound. It'll change your opinion. Yeah, that's okay. V4. That was the Magna. V4. Before life. Kind of changed my opinion a little bit. And that was only around a housing estate. So, yeah. I will chance it. Yeah. Around the housing estate. And if it does change my opinion on bikes, I'll come on your channel again and say so. But I don't think it will. Fair enough. But Not can this I just, housing estate though, because this housing estate would be terrifying on yes. a bike. Can I also just point, <laughs> oh, I'm man. not doing it during any Storm Kira's, Dennis's, or whatever's yeah, next. Well, obviously, why would you? We're in Ireland. It's a very limited window. We yeah, don't yeah, yeah. have a storm. I write all the time. Wednesday at three. <laughs> anyway, I'll move us on from that. So you're saying that you would go on the back one again, but don't particularly want to learn yourself. Yes, correct. Yeah. And you're open to trying riding on the back of one. And, but at the moment, I wouldn't get one myself. At the moment. Okay, fair enough. So opinions are there to be changed. Good stuff. Open-minded. Open-minded, yeah. And obviously, would I ever ride one? Yes. Oh God, yes. Do you like bikes or something? So much. Uh, <laughs> so the next one, and I know this is one that you've been probably dying to get your words out about. Uh, so what you've been dying to hear about, Darren, I know during that little interim break that you didn't get to see, but Darren did. Um, feelings on feeling Your feelings on bikes in society. What are they? Do you think they have a place? Well, obviously you get enjoyment out of them. I don't, but people do, so therefore, yeah. But you were saying earlier about filtering and stuff like that. I don't that. like it, but you're asking me, is there a place for society? Obviously, there is a people, people do whatever they want anyway. They do whatever they want. I don't think people do whatever they want. There's laws. There's laws in place, Darren. There is, Michael. And if we bring up laws and motorbikes... <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get to. Oh, it might be a bad <laughs> idea for you. Anyway. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you want? Do you, do you want to elaborate or? Well, like filtering and all that kind of stuff. Do, if, do you want to elaborate? This is your chance, Darren. This is your chance to get your opinion out. In the, the question. World. The question was, what do I do? I was it? Do I have things? Is there a place for them in society? I said, what are your feelings on bikes in society? Thought you said. Was... And then I said, do they have a place? It's a, it's a double yeah. barrel question. Ah, okay. Well, they have a place in society. People make people happy and all that. They make people happy. <laughs> Therefore. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the many people have to, therefore, there is a place for them. Do I agree with them? No. Would I like to see them gone? Might be a bit extreme, but less of them, yes, would be preferable. Why less of them? There's not that many bikes in Ireland. Because I don't like them. I think it's the same. I think it's probably down to the same reason I don't like cyclists. Well, that's fair. Yeah. That's, I think we can all agree that no one likes road cyclists. Yeah, but I think it sounds the same thing where they can skip the queue and... Eh, oh, so it's envy. Maybe, yeah. I think it might be ah. just envy or something. That's each, what yeah. it is. This is why Jason was brought on, you see. He's, he's... I think, I, I, fair enough, it could be. Well, like, switch this around. It's actually yeah, like a deep dive into Darren's mind. I think it is. I think that's what it is. Um, like... For me, the, the skip- cameras are picking up. You getting very close to me. <laughs> the skipping to the top of the queue thing. I mean, that drives me nuts. It drives anybody. But why does it drive you nuts? Is it envy? Let's let's boil it down. Is it envy? Okay, so why are? Can you explain to me why are more bikes allowed to skip to the front of the queue? Because I can. Okay, but if I am in like a that's okay. If that's the reason, then how come when I'm in like a shop, I can't? There's a space for me to go on like go on the Not front. Not the same because you don't have the bike. It's not the same. How is it not the same? Because think think about it this way, right? In in a shop, you are putting someone out by skipping to the top of the queue. You're putting me out by skipping to the top of the queue. The, I'm Because if I'm second in the queue, I say first in the queue, I'm being pushed back to second. But bikes are faster than you. So they're gone. They don't they don't block you. They don't get in your way. They're gone. Yeah. If someone decent is able to ride a bike, they can take off and be faster. People who can't really ride a bike don't last very long, generally. Yeah, but you still get them. Deck. Because they die. <laughs> oh, right. Because cool. they die. <laughs> yeah. Right, fair. But, uh, yeah, no, I think that's a fair analogy of it. Like, I just don't... You ju- you just don't like it? I don't like it, Joe. Why, why do they get to skip ahead? Because they can. That's, because not they excuse, can. that's not an excuse for anything. Because they can. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll, we'll come back to that. Apparently. I'm going to take your half. Because I can. But you see, you couldn't. You didn't reach. Because you're not fast enough. Like bikes. <laughs> <laughs> If I put effort in, I could take off or knock this over. Anyway, I'm moving on to Jason. So, Jason, your feelings on bikes in society, do they have a place? It's double our barrel question. Please answer both parts. Yes, they probably have a place. Do we need or should there be more? Probably not. If if it was predominantly bikes in the road, it would be probably crazy. It would be way safer. So much safer. Explain. I don't know if... I will. No, no, I'm glad, I'm glad you asked. What's the place with the most bikes? Is that like... Barcelona. Calcutta or something. Barcelona has a shit ton of bikes. I don't know factually. I'll actually check. Language, yeah, Michael. Out. We're on a podcast. Eh, shit ton is allowed. Um, Stuart's query. Oh, Closer. Allowed. Most motorcycles per capita. That has to be India. It's probably, it's probably India. Oh, apparently I have no internet here. Shambles. It's a, it is a shambles. But basically, I'll start explaining while we wait for this, right? Why I think it would be safer is... Where do a lot of accidents come from at the moment? Don't pin this on cars, man. I'm not pinning it on cars. I'm Don't pinning pin it on, it on people. Life. Accidents at the moment, probably, like the amount of people on phones. Yes. It's crazy. Do you know what you can't do when you're on a bike? Mm. Wrong. Where's that? India. India. Yeah, India. <laughs> okay. So toaster check for us off, off camera. As she refuses to speak, even though she's a wonderful voice. Sure, sure. As said by Hatter, and Hatter is probably going to watch this because he's a legend and watches everything. Um, she a producer as well, like on the show. Then. Well, I produce everything technically, so. Camera woman. Or... She's the manager. She has an extra title. She's working camera. She's also camera chief camera person. There you go. Ah, chief. Um, so yeah, India, right? Now I I'm not going to look up stats on right, but in my opinion, why it would be safer um, is. Like I said, you can't use a mobile phone on a bike. The, the good thing about bikes, in my opinion, is there is very little room for distraction. As in zero room for distraction. If you stop focusing on what you're doing and being in the moment on a bike, you're going to crash into something and or fall off. Which, like, what does cause it? Which, is there more biking accidents a year or is there more car accidents a year? Like, per, like, obviously, in the state of Ireland, there's a lot more cars in the road, obviously. Yeah. So, per... Uh, per yeah, okay. So, so which per, are, which per are, user... Base, there's more motorcycle accidents yeah as, as a population yeah. okay so why why is that now uh, well actually a lot of accidents are caused by cars putting out of motorcycles unfortunately that's what happened to my uncle who survived by the way he's fine he's fine he's back on a bike i never <coughs> did pin it all on cars i said excessive speeding mm. is definitely a part of it mm. and inexperience is definitely a part of it what's the story with so i know we're driving to get a car license 
You have to do 12 lessons and the test. Oh, it's yeah. way more intensive for a bike. Is it? What is it? Way it's more courses, intensive. though. Day courses. Though. So you have to do the theory test, same as you do in a car. Um, yeah. With extra checks for bikes, like, you know, how you brake in wet weather, how you brake in dry weather. What theory? Stuff like that. Yeah, the theory test. But then you also have to do what's called here, the IBT, or in England, the CBT. The English one is slightly different, so I'm not going to get into it because it's England, I don't know. But for instance, the IBT is a three-day course. Mm. And it, like I said, it's, it's an intensive course. So you have a, a half a day in the classroom um, partnered with yard work. So you have to learn how to ride a bike in U-turns and figures of eight, stuff like that. Um, then you'll also do, the second day is a lot more yard work, stuff like that, safety safety stops, the full day of yard work. And then the third day you're brought out in the road with your instructor uh, who's talking in your ear, following you and in front of you, showing you how to lean into corners, showing you lines, etc., etc., etc. And it's all kind of judging road conditions, judging other road users, uh, stuff like that. So you actually get, basically, <clears throat> it's one to two training usually. I think the max is two people, so one instructor, two people. And you're actually brought through, this is what you should do, this is what you shouldn't do. And in my experience, uh, my driving lessons were crap. It was by someone who read the paper while I was driving around. They were awful. Um, whereas I learned so much on my IBT and not even with my IBT I went back to actually a different instructor for my pre-full test lessons who was excellent and even though I'd been writing at that stage for two years I think um, and writing quite a lot I still went to him I only did two lessons which were two hours each and I learned so much in those two lessons right but you still have to go through the whole six months learner driver and then Correct. full yeah. driver so that the IBT gets you a uh, the IBT gets you to ride on your own. You still have to wear an vest. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. You, st- you still have to, yeah, I'm sure you did wear an vest. <laughs> Under um, I always wore an vest. guards were watching. Yeah, so what's, So you got an vest. So you get an vest. Yeah. And you're allowed out on your own. After the IBT. Yeah, yeah. So the, you, you, the IBT you, gives you the L, right? Yeah, the, you are not allowed on the road until you've completed your three days. Yeah, so that, the IBT gives you your L bat, uh, thingy. What do you call them? Uh, no, it doesn't give you your L-Vest. You already yeah. have, you have to buy an L-Vest. Yeah, but like, the IBT gives you, gives you the permission to go on the road. By yourself? By yourself. Yeah. For six months? For six months. And then you get a chance to do your full chance test. chance to do your full test, yeah. And is that the only training days you have to do the IBT? The three days? Yeah. That's the only test you have to, that's the only training to do. You can go walk, after six months, you can just walk straight in and go well, yeah, do the test. But like you don't, you, do, you, do, you, don't, you don't automatically pass the IBT. The no, IBT I know that. The IBT is a that. test in itself. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just getting all straight in my head. If anything, that's way better. Yeah, we have it is. It's way better. Well, I, I know it's, you can't, but like, I don't, I'm not sure about a guy doing a three-day course and then... Run a car. Well, no, if you do that with a car, you still have to have a... Way more accidents. You still have to have a full license driver with you. I know it's a different story for a bike. It's different. Cars don't have gradings. Oh, like it's the power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, when you start off and you're young, you can have a one two five, mm. then up to a two fifty. Yeah, what's the story with that? Power then? Limits. Do you have to do another test to go on to like a? Yep, yeah, progression. So there's there's five modules in the IBT: one, two, three, four, and five. Obviously, you have to do it after each one. Yeah, so, f- so five would be your advanced rider module uh, slash for your full A license, which is an unlimited bike that yeah. you can carry pillion on, and that's again that's another full. I think it's a day and a half on its own module five. We're like, whereas because I was over 24, I got to do modules one, three, four, five. I got to skip two. So I said I had to do the classroom and I could do three, four, five all together. So that is the one thing. If you're over 24, you can make the jump directly to a full A-level bike. So there, there, there are possibly gaps there because you could have a very mm-hmm. immature 24-year-old who goes out in an A-level bike and plants himself straight into a wall. But that is not very... Not an 18-year-old car driver with a two-liter golf yeah, that's daddy yeah. bottom. I mean, that's, yeah. some of, that's some of the jealousy coming out again. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to talk about a bit is are bikes a greener alternative? Uh, do they reduce congestion? Uh, do they give you a greater freedom of movement, parking, etc.? Right. So I'm going to start off first with my experiences, right? And if Toaster was willing to speak, she could probably attest to this. Um, I got a little taste of a motorbike uh, with thanks to my uncle, thanks Dermot. Um, and I mean, after that, when I got taken away from it, because at the time it was like, you know, on Sundays in a in an industrial estate where I could ride the bike, um, I got pretty depressed when I couldn't just have a bike all the time. Like, I mean, I should never have started it because I fell in love. So that was that was definitely part of the freedom movement for me. I, 
<laughs> I don't like driving into Cork City, for instance. I oh, no one does. But I have no problem going in on the bike. Like before Christmas, when I went to do my Christmas shopping, I oh, popped in on the bike and finished it all off. How would you bring it home? How would you bring yeah. the stuff home? Top box. Yeah, but well, is that not... Thank you, Shab, even though your fitting system was awful. I was just going to say you didn't like the fitting system. No, the, the top box is good, though. Yeah, but does that not ruin the aesthetic of a bike? Is it putting a... Uh, no, let's not get into aesthetics. That's way too opinionated, I think. Well, like, yeah. it's, like putting, it's like putting a roof rack on a car. Or not a roof rack. A roof I box. have a roof rack on my car. Roof box in your car. I like roof boxes. I think they look nice. <laughs> You're well, in a mistake. Like, why would you need a roof box? Because you can never have enough storage in a car. That's what they're for. <laughs> they move in storage boxes. <laughs> but anyway, right? So we'll, we'll just jump back. So for me, the freedom of movement definitely it helped me a lot because I don't like driving in, in cities, even small ones like Cork. Can I just make a point? Cork City is terrible to drive in anyway. It, it is. It is terrible to it's drive awful. in anyway. Yeah, it's 100%. shocking. I, as I said before, Suzuki Swift. And again? Shocking. Parking? Parking. Zero. Uh, free parking on bikes. Is it, is it, is it free parking? Or there's, is no, it, there's designated free parking spots in Cork for bikes. I like that. And in the UK, they're free parking. Everywhere. I like that they actually have like They've turned, you know, those wasted spaces like in front of pillars and stuff. Like oh, you yeah, had the half. Now, spaces. Yeah, now they have there just for like two car yeah, bike yeah. parks. Right? I've seen cars park in those. Like Ligos. Yeah, because. Like yeah, we won't get into that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But for me, right, the Christmas green. Time, man, has to be done. The greener alternative, right? This is something I, I actually am interested in discussing. Okay, we won't get into electric bikes yet. We'll have a quick chat about them in a second. But even a standard bike. So my phaser does 60 miles to the gallon on a bad day, all right? a bad day and not only that it reduces congestion because obviously if you drive a car for instance how, how many people can fit in your car uh like probably five but like it's always it's always one me exactly <laughs> so like you don't need that whole size of a car do you no no so well, uh, how big is your weekly shop uh yeah no there's there's not a great you place. take away all the time i could probably walk to aldi and walk home <laughs> I'm so could we, you know, yeah. Well, uh, I do sometimes. Sometimes. Right. Um, but how many takeaways do you get? Like, you know, come fit them on your car. Well, you get takeaways delivered. He lives in you know, yeah. a built up area. That's true. <laughs> we get them delivered how, as well. And how does he come? Huh? How does the takeaway guy come? In a car. In a car. Yeah, but. Because the heat now, it keeps food warm. No, a lot of delivery drivers use. Oh, for sake! Yeah, they do. In Dublin, said, they toaster, do. toaster's nodding. No one can see her nod, but she's nodding. Oh. In Dublin, they it's use. In the town, camera doesn't exist. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But for instance, right, just to hit the point, congestion. One of the biggest problems, obviously, is a load of cars taking up lots of space that they don't need. There's generally one person in a car, so I think greener, green wise, they do reduce congestion a lot. That's you know, in cities like Barcelona and stuff, you do see a lot of bikes. Again, toaster could confirm that. Nod toaster if you agree. She's nodding. She's nodding again. Um, Nod camera. <laughs> so as not only that, like I know bikes do emit quite a bit of CO two because they don't have as much, for instance, you know, have a catalytic converter, etc. Because the exhaust is too short and the big catalytic converter get too. Anyway, we won't course, get into that. Of course. Yeah. But from that point, they, they emit a decent amount of CO two per hundred kilometers, right? But the thing is. How often do you see a bike parked in traffic and not progressing through the middle? As to Darren's earlier point, on the side. Very rarely they don't. They don't. They don't stop in traffic. No, as in they come up on the side. Yeah, but either either are well. That's actually bad. You're supposed to go down the middle. But anyway, but from a from a CO two perspective, right? If you look at grams per hundred kilometers in real terms, cars spend a lot of time actually parked in traffic, burning fuel. Unless they're obviously newer cars, which not many people can afford with the auto off thing. Um, I actually hate that auto off thing. That's good for the environment, but you know. Nah. <laughs> the hell with the environment. <laughs> the hell with the environment. What's that? The, ba- yeah, the, bat- the batch. That was a quote. That right? was yeah. That was that was the. Sh- What's his name again? Oh, I meant from. I don't know. What's his name? Oh, Healy Ray. Healy yeah. Ray. Yeah. Oh, Danny. Danny. Are you going to stay with the people? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the planet. To hell with the planet. To hell with the planet. We just like wall off Kerry. No, Kerry's beautiful. Oh, I love Kerry. Kerry's gorgeous. I love Kerry. The you need those people because no. it's so hilarious. Lucky Luke rides us from Kerry and he's a lovely person. And But like, you're, you're talking about one person. They're, he's, no, they're, they're his whole family. The Healy Rays are insane. <laughs> they're a different breed. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're insane. It's brilliant. Yeah. What was the thing last year? What? Oh God, was the, uh, there's no such thing as climate change. It was God. 
Wasn't that his thing in the, in the last year? What was it that was the same guy? It, was it him or O'Day said about cloud computing? That, Show me plenty of clouds. Why won't we do that? That was him. I think, <laughs> that, I think that, was just, that was the same rant when he said that, that country people should be allowed, like rural people should be allowed to have a few drinks. A couple of pints and drive home, home. home. Killing rural communities. I think, what's it? Don't have that fifth or sixth pint. Five and drive. Have, have, five, have four. If you can't remember, have one more. I'll leave it there. <laughs> it's the best ad of all time. So basically, what, what I wanted to get anyway, <laughs> we'll move on from them, um, is bikes don't spend a lot of time stopped. So yes, while well, they produce a good bit of CO2, well, it's still, it's not that much because obviously your CO2 is kind of equatable to how much fuel you burn. So the phaser doesn't produce that much because it doesn't burn much fuel. But obviously, because they don't spend time parked and idling over the course of 100 kilometers commuting, they use, they use a lot less. So in my opinion your average bike is a much greener alternative to a car in cities. In cities. In cities, all right? For, like, person our age who doesn't have a family. Well, yeah, if you don't have, that's like what I said, if it's a single person or two mm. people, a lot of people, I see people go two up into work. But see, yeah. the other thing is, right, is cost. So it is actually a cost effect. You can have a car and a bike, obviously, I have them. Well, there you go. So like, It's cost. The big thing is cost for bikes. Yeah, but if you're, it's not really a greener option if you still have to have a car, is it? You don't have to have a car. But could you survive, say, without the car? Yep. Really? Toaster has a car. <laughs> okay, that's all I need to do. Yeah, you get, get someone toaster. else with a car. <laughs> yeah, no, but my, my, point, my point being, right, If when I use the car to go to work, I burn way more fuel. It takes me longer to get there. It is definitely worse for the environment. I don't need to go in the car. Yeah, but what I'm saying is if okay, if, everyone's, on, yeah. if everyone's on a bike, yeah. they still need a car. You're still in, in Ireland, I agree with you. Yeah. You still need access to a car, car. and or decent so public transport. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So the, Which we don't have. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so therefore, at the moment, a greener alternative is not, it's not viable. Not necessarily. Just because you own a car but use it 10% of the time you don't otherwise use it, that's still a greener alternative. Mm-hmm. Especially if you don't buy the car new. If the car's already in circulation and oh, you, you buy it, yeah, it's, you're not adding to the footprint person. Mm. So, you know. And also the cost. Cost for bikes is way low. There's a question for you. Yeah. What's the story with insurance and with bikes? Well, for instance, my bike insurance, right, for my two bikes, is 540 euro with principal. They're very good. Give them a shout. Whereas my car insurance for a single car that's relatively slow in comparison to a bike um, is... I think it was last year I paid 870. And why? Yeah, they're, they're a lot more dangerous. Is that because? Well, they're, they're, it's, it's collateral damage. Uh, collateral damage. Bikes don't do that much collateral damage yeah, when they do crash. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's also part of it. And Plus, there's, there's not enough die. bikes yeah, in Ireland. Yeah. You're going to die some pain. That's right? actually not true. A lot of bike accidents don't end in deaths. That's for instance, decent my uncle, helmet. your old boss. Yeah. As long as you have a decent helmet. And decent gear. Yeah, well, that's true. That's what you like, should buy uh, there. This is the MT. This MT. is the HSC. I've done yeah. reviews on both of them. Thank you, Darren. I Thank did. you. I've done Product reviews on more both product of them. placement. We've Guinness. Product we have, placement. You haven't even done your own stuff yet. Well, I'm wearing my hat there. You can buy this on my Etsy store. Link in the description. You can buy this in my Etsy store. Uh, Etsy? Etsy store. Link in the description. I've an drank the less and I'm hammered. Look the less? <laughs> I actually can't speak. Look how good it looks. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Turn towards the main camera. Oh, look at that camera work from Toaster. Beautiful. I will be buying more gear than products. <laughs> you haven't bought any. This you haven't bought any. No, he hasn't bought oh, any. Come on. Yeah. And wear hats. But if I did, did, this would be the <laughs> half of the <laughs> Where were we? Oh, your cost. So as well, the tax. Look, the tax on my car is 710 euro a year. Oops. Per bike, it's 88 euro a year. Bloody tax. What's the grade on the bikes then for tax? None. It's 88 it's euro a year. Just 88. Flat charge. So, yeah, so it doesn't make sense from a cost perspective. But imagine a world where it's only bikes on the road. I it's would like, be so happy. But it's like well, a wasp's nest, like. Yeah. No, because bikers give out a biker space. I've been on, like, for instance, when I did the, the car Christmas run, like, there was so many bikes at that, and everyone gave each other space. But that is that is a charity event road. for bikers yeah. doing bike I have things. done I've done other group races. Could you imagine the morning commute with yeah. like a hundred bikes? That yeah. A thousand bikes. Get, a thousand bikes. I'm telling you it'd be fine apart from the young lads. Young okay. lads are head cases. So what happens then in that case when what are they just going to queue up in a line they're not going to filter across yeah, the side? 
So why can't they just do that? Because why would they? Cars are slow and getting away. Cars take off slowly. Cars. Not the way I drive. Suzuki Swift. <laughs> How fast can your Suzuki Swift go zero to 60 miles an hour? I wouldn't know because I'm not racing. A hell roads. of a lot slower than a bike. Get your bike out and race. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, you lose. Well, anyway, so cost, I think we can agree there that it's cheaper. And then that's before you even hit the electric bike thing. Uh, electric, le- electric motors. No, no, forget it, man. They're not. Like, I don't think they're there yet. For the no, they're, well, actually, how, they're not the, there yet. What's the charging on a bike? Who's like... So for, is just like for the, Z, the Zero SRF that I reviewed, and there's a hat over there, but it's far away, I'm not going to get it. The Zero SRF that I reviewed um, was 200 kilometers range and a four and a half hour charge time at home with that's their boosted man. charger. Great. That's that's brilliant. Well, like you're never, you're never going to go, you're never going to go that much it's only like, more in a day on a bike. Yeah, it's, uh, I do, but I, that's beside most, yeah. 90% of people wouldn't. 90% of people do would. they have like fast charge yeah stations? 20, 25 minutes on a fast charge station with a bike but how many for, for a full charge is that the same charger as a, a, a car yeah they can it's use car charge points oh, I agree the, zero, the zeros can like in my opinion if you're looking for a green alternative and you have an absolute shed load of money a zero motorcycle is, is a great option for a greener alternative if that's what you're into so basically, right, we're getting to that point that I'm going to start to close, ask for closeout final opinions. So do you want to revisit any of the topics we've talked about today? Oh, God. What did we talk about? Bikes. <laughs> bikes bikes, bikes oh, and stuff. We, I was very disappointed, Michael, that we didn't, I mean, gorilla biker. You can call me Michael, it's fine. He's out of him. Ah! Oh, I've been called Michael in the channel before, it's fine. Oh, cool. We didn't mention a single ape. We did, apes and engines. Gorillas are apes, gorillas are greater apes, and these are the two uh, minor apes, and I have no idea what a lesser ape is actually i do i do so lesser apes are also called smaller apes which ironically are called gibbons <laughs> that's hilarious so um they're also bonobos chimpanzees yeah oh no sorry different from great apes oh it's oh it's only gibbons only gibbons are lesser apes <laughs> a small Small ape. That's a lesser ape. Lesser, lesser ape. ape. So you can both be the lesser apes, and I'll be the greater ape, of course. Or would you both like to be bonobos? Oh, like I'll there, take yeah. a bonobo. Oh, technically, apparently, humans are greater apes. I'll take being human. Fair enough. <laughs> take it. Would you like to be a human I'll or a yeah, chimpanzee? I'll take that. Go for go for human. Go for human. Yeah. Uh, okay, fair enough. Shoot for stars. Can we need toaster as a given. A couple of shout outs I want to do. Um, monkey yeah. butt. Thank you very much. Monkey Butt, if you have never seen Monkey Butt, um, look him up on the YouTubes. Yes, sir. He's, um, there you go, he, I bought some stickers off him. Well, actually, I bought, like, I think two stickers off him, and he sent me way more. Guinness. Yeah. Correct way to do it. Oh, if anyone pours, like, a lager, this is... Get out. This is how you pour these cans, but they have to have the widget in them. They don't do, pour yeah. like this. If you pour like this without the widget. Oh, that's oh man. So I actually, actually went to guess from the the cans again Guinness without the widget because they all, they're always there. And I'm like, I'll try it. Oh, we got that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Oh, they're the... the like X, 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 yeah. No, don't do it. Guinness spend millions on can technology. Trust them. Yeah. So oh, these so are, if, you, if they get a payout, I'm taking some of it. These are his stickers? Um, make sure you check him out and he also has a really nice spam card so Monkey Bud if you're watching very Amazing. impressed with your stuff stickers and spam card That's very impressed card. and he also sent me a coaster oh so you, you can pop these into like stores and stuff yeah so then I'll give you these two show them to the camera as well uh, so the other person who sent me some <laughs> stickers is Hippo Drones uh, I owe Hippo Drones stickers I still haven't sent them out because I'm useless oh I have stickers um, and he just said to me there's my stickers um, he said to me hey you big old giant monkey ape technically hippo uh, happy new year mate sorry this is taking me so long to get to you I'm really loving the content you're putting out on the bike and in the garage keep it up I plan on it uh, anyhow I wish you continued growth and success throughout 2020 keep it upside down hippo Pete thank you very much hippo drones appreciate it I will get you out stickers uh, I promise I, I know I've been slow and also Grom Trooper, I owe you stickers as well. They'll get there, I, pr- I promise. I've just been uh, useless. Head in the point. Yeah, yeah I'm going to let awesome. it settle a bit. So anyway, what were we at? Final opinions and closeout. So do you want to round back on any, any topics? Anything you want to talk about? I don't like bikes. I'll give them a go, but I'm pretty stubborn. 
But right, right now you don't like bikes. Exactly. That would be a but fantastic you are, video. You are a very stubborn human. I am very. So you could love them. Who isn't? I don't know. Actually, he's a very stubborn human as well. I'm a huge Say, stubborn don't, person. Don't not include yourself in that. I'm not stubborn. I would say persuasive. Thank, thank you. Stu- when it doesn't, when that doesn't work, <laughs> then you become stubborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they love me really. Um, so <laughs> don't shoot that on camera. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I think the plans come from this are we need to get D Ron on a bike. Yeah. Darren, yeah. D Ron, preferably okay. uh, on the back of a bike. So first and foremost, I need to rebuild the front end of the magnet because I don't think we'd fit on the phaser very well. Why, you can't be fat or something? No, the phaser's just not really made for two larger people. Which one did I go on? You went on the magnet. I know, okay. I brought Billy on the back of the phaser. It was awful. I'll try it. Good. And we know I'm going to bring you again. Can you get a sidecar? Uh, I will. Oh, so at, at some point. Yeah, Seriously. Fun. Not for either bikes to have, but yeah, a sidecar would be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's like be cool. Because you'd have to get the leather jacket with the white scarf and like, the goggles then. Yeah, the goggles. Yeah. Batman and Robin. Yeah, Job awesome. Like yeah. Oh, please. Why would I get a scarf? Scarf? Scarfs are dangerous. No, but it's the, the whole idea that like, there's a pilot with the... <laughs> no, the letters. You ever see the pictures of that? No? Yeah, I've seen it. I just... Yeah, so get that. The white scarf dangling in the breeze. It's cool. practical. Look, man. It should be look, look cool. Fair enough. It's all about the optics. It's all about, yeah, yeah. aesthetics. Yeah. Which we're not going to talk about. Yes. Well, we can we can know if you want. Do you want to get into how bikes look towards the end? I'm fine with that. Um, prefer older looking bikes. So do I. There you go. There you go. Bike is a detail bike, point. <laughs> you said you love the look of the magnet. Did I? Did that come out of my mouth? Yeah, it did. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you God, God, rotten. So Sorry. that's it. Nothing else. You're all happy. Well. Never, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, finally, uh, anyone who would like to see another episode of Apes and Engines, do leave a comment. If you want to see d and Big J return. I don't think I'm returning. <laughs> Why not? Very opinionated. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's just... I enjoy it. I'm the bike faithful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people have an issue. They didn't really slag anyone or anything. Can you show me all the mean comments though? There's going to be fun. forums. Uh, just if, like, if I get lots of mean comments, I will certainly show you. Please print them off them. and show me. Yeah, well, we could do a response video. Oh, please. I'd give That'd me be brilliant. Oh, yes. That'd be great. Okay, we can do that. But anyway, if, leave in the comments. If you want to see D-Ron and Big J back and another podcast, let us know. Or if um, you want to see me riding a bike. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Has to happen. It's going to happen. If you want me to see riding one of Michael's bike, a gorilla bikes Whoa. by themselves, Whoa. by myself, <laughs> first time, but first time, put it in the comments. Not happening. It's not happening. Give the people what they want. <laughs> no, you. If you no, they're my children. We'll put your answers in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode of. Apes and Engines, uh, episode one, motorcycles. We, we, I'm going to do more podcasts anyway, and I don't know if they'd be available in other areas, but definitely we'll do we'll do more podcasts, and probably on YouTube. As well. Yeah, I have to down it. It's going to be too, tough. Yeah, it's two cans uh, per know. podcast. <sighs> two cans per podcast can be rough. I have to speak more. That is true. That is true. But anyway. In between, you need to... Oh, well, this could be like the, the sign-off from now on. You just down the can and get pint of Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Oh, let's add that. Answers in the comment section. Darren likes the comment section. Yeah, loves it. But Dis- <laughs> Mike disables comment section. From Darren. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this episode of Apes and Engines, um, let me know so we can do more. If you want to see the lads back, let us know. It's, it's all there. Put in, put in the comments. Russian the bots, comments. come on. Yeah, Get Russian bots. Come on. Um, don't forget to check out Monkey Butt and Hippo Drones. And oh. if anyone else wants to shout out in these videos going forward in the podcast... Uh, either let me know or send me a message or send me some stickers I would definitely give you a shout out no problem uh, <laughs> and Guinness Guinness thanks for sponsoring this oh, episode Guinness. much appreciated Legends. Um, but yeah if you've enjoyed it don't forget to like share subscribe hit the bell set the notifications to all so you can see all my future videos not just the podcasts um, if you want to know a bit about with the channel what's going on I recently released the channel trailer so oh, I like that. watch that yeah, yeah you like that it's pretty good yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. thank you thank you yeah give the trailer a watch for you that yeah. show thanks thanks thanks, thanks, thanks. Watch, watch we need, he needs more subscribers to get rid of the YouTube music 
and to so pay for that. Yeah, if, if I ever actually get enough yeah. subscri- subscribers to make money, I will invest in Epidemic Sound or something to get decent music in, in my videos. And then we can all retire. Yeah. And we do can this all full retire. Time. And live off this, exactly. But yes, so. Absolutely common section. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to do all of the things I asked in the video. <laughs> Adios. Neck the point. Outro crew, yeah, outro crew get to watch me neck the point. Zoom no, right in no, on this toaster. Yeah, yeah, Zoom right in on this. Oh, that's gonna be dead. Oh, it's gonna be nasty. I don't even want to finish this. Well. I don't want to yeah. do this. Cheers, man. What do you mean you don't want to do it? I don't want to down it straight. Ready? Yeah, you're going. Like a suckler, lovely pint. Like a suckler calf. <laughs> Drink responsibly. God bless the leaks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Cut.